What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here for another episode of a Fictional Fights Commentary. Uh, I have no idea what people think of this episode because I am on vacation at the time you're watching this. I'm recording this commentary and all this other stuff ahead of time because I'm going to be on vacation at the time and I don't believe there's Wi-Fi at the place I'm going. I'm going to like an old cabin in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee with no internet so I wouldn't be able to edit or upload any videos while I'm there so all this stuff's ahead of time so if something went wrong and this isn't up at the scheduled date please don't blame me because I tried as hard as I could so anyways Ganondorf versus Akuma this is a very interesting episode and it's probably my favorite so far simply because of the animation that Alex 303 did the wonderful animation it was brilliant anyways as for this episode this was the very first Fictional Fights episode to be delayed. Uh, that's not a very good record to hold, but it was. So, the reason I delayed it the first time wasn't because of animation at all, because uh, it was actually because I hadn't done any research on either of the characters. Like, all I knew from Akuma was his stuff related to Ryu when I researched Ryu. And, well, I did know about Ganondorf, but I, even though I'm a massive fan of Zelda and a huge fan of Ganondorf, I just think Ganondorf's cool. I didn't really look into his powers that much. I'm like, I know he has magic and he's dark and evil, but I didn't know like exactly what he had. I didn't pay attention to the specifics or anything. So this is enlightening for both these characters because they are both really cool characters. Ryu is, I mean, Akuma is possibly my favorite Street Fighter character. He's so cool. And Ganondorf is one of my favorite video game villains ever. So there was really no downside to this fight for me. Like whoever won here was okay with me. I just hope people don't think Street Fighter is like my whipping, my whipping boy, the boy that I whip. I whip it, or something. I, I punish it for being Street Fighter. I don't do that. <laughs> oh, my words are getting jumbled up because I have the volume up too high, and trying to talk with something else in my ears is annoying. Alright, there we go. I turned it down. Anyways, yeah, all of Akuma's moves, they were kind of frustrating. I was trying, not, I was trying to say something different than what I said for Ryu, back in Jin vs. Ryu because all of Akuma's moves are nearly identical. They're just stronger and more evil. So yeah, it was hard to make it sound original and unique, so I just made a whole big joke about it. And there's the Misogi. The Misogi's pretty cool. I like that move in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Aw oh, man, Akuma's the best. <laughs> So, Alex303 did the fight. I believe I asked, uh, he joined and started working on it, like, after Mario vs. Sonic. Or, like, during the production of Mario vs. Sonic, I believe he did it. He started it. And I asked for, uh, a, a fight that was at least longer than a minute and a half, so you guys would at least get something. And he went a step further and made it two minutes and a half. So, I'm, like, stunned at that. I'm just like, wow, Alex, that was awesome. I mean, you didn't have to do it that much, but that was, that's cool, bro. So I am super impressed and proud and just awestruck by Alex 303's animation. I'm going to see if I can get him back again to do the Jin versus Sasuke fight that I confirmed. So that'll look really cool because uh, it's not due till October. I'm saving it for the one year anniversary of fictional fights. So... He'll have tons of time to animate and make it super good and special. And he's apparently animating for Animation Rewind as well. I didn't even know that. He's Because when I told him just to let me know if he wanted to animate for me again or not, he said, sure, he'll do it as soon as he finishes like the long list of fights that Animation Rewind has for him to do. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting. AR and I are sharing the same animator. Uh. Oh, yeah. About Ayers Rock, that joke. I was gonna have a really bad joke for Ayers Rock. Well, it wouldn't have been bad at the t I didn't think it was bad at the time. But then I, like, researched uh, Ayers Rock, or Uluru as it's called, uh, a bit, and found out that it was actually very important. And I didn't want to offend anyone in Australia. Especially since the host Hira is from Australia. I was like, oh man, I don't want to make him angry. He's my bro, my bro ham. So, because it apparently has some, like, important spiritual significance or something. I didn't look too deep into it. All I saw was that it was super important to people, and I kind of wanted to respect them. Originally, I was going to have, like, Vic go, Oh, no, don't chop a rock in half or something like that, and just cry over 
uh, and like make a big deal about how it's like just a rock or something. But it's it's really important. It's important to a lot of people. So I wanted I didn't want to make a mean joke. Ah, <sighs> mm, I already don't know what to talk about. <laughs> oh yeah, another thing that had to do with the delay of this episode. Uh, again, I was going to animate this one myself, but of course my keys broke and I can't do it. Which is what happens with the next fight, Kazuya vs. Pit. I can't animate that either because the, my new keyboard, the one that I ordered, got delayed. So I'm still missing some keys that are necessary for doing the animations that I do. <laughs> so, I have Rampage Animations doing Pit vs. Kazuya. And of course Alex303 did this one. And hopefully, after both of those, I will have... A uh, new keyboard, hopefully. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why things always get delayed for me. I have the worst luck. Like, when I order something, it gets delayed. When I'm looking for something, it vanishes. Like, like if I go to get a game from my PlayStation 2 shelf, like if I want to play a PlayStation 2 game, every game I have will be there, except the one I'm looking for. <laughs> or like if I want food or something like if I'm not in the mood to eat cookies for to, to snack on some cookies or something then they'll always be there but as soon as I'm in the mood for cookies oh, they're gone they're all gone nope <laughs> or if I add a video to my watch later list and then as soon as I decide that I'm finally going to watch it my internet goes bad and super duper slow and laggy and it's just so painful and annoying. And, well, you get what I mean. I just have terrible luck. Ah, uh, I have so many fights planned for this, and I'm so glad that Alex303 decided to help animate for this, because I hope it brings in new animators, and I hope it brings more attention to his channel, too, because he only has 100 subscribe, 100 something subscribers. He needs way more, because his animations are super good. So hopefully this brings more attention to his channel. And hopefully this brings more animators to fictional fights who will be interested. Oh, I'm working so hard on this show. I hope more people pay attention to it. I mean, I don't want to be, like, greedy for views or anything. I'm not demanding that it gets as many views as Death Battle or something. But I at least want to have some some kind of voice in the versus debating community. Because it's, it's versus debating super fun. It's it's nice. It's fun. It's a nice community. Unless you get find like a a wanker or something. Like a street fighter wanker. I had people telling me Akuma was planet level. Yeah. And apparently Ganondorf is also planet level too, but I don't believe that either. I believe they're both I think Akuma's at island level and Ganondorf is uh country level because of how much he's able to affect with his magic and the landscapes and stuff. So, Akuma's island and slightly higher than island is Oni, and Ganondorf, of course, is country level, so he's stronger and all that. Uh, the reason people say Ganondorf is planet level is because they scale him to Majora, who could destroy the entire planet by bringing the moon down. But that's not even right, because <laughs> Link needed a fierce deity mask that turned him into a deity to beat Majora, Meanwhile, he can beat Ganondorf in base form. So, Ganondorf is definitely less powerful than Majora. Just because he's the main villain doesn't make him more powerful. <laughs> That's kind of a thing there. Like, Hihachi is the main villain of Tekken, but characters like Jinpachi and Azazel are probably much more powerful than him. <laughs> or, let's see, let's give another example. Dr. Eggman is the main villain of Sonic. But then you got people like Dark Gaia and then Mecha Sonic or Metal Sonic or whatever. So yeah, here's the beautiful animation. Uh, I added in the music afterwards. It took me so long to try and choose the right music. I was like, what music do I want to include? I was super picky with that. And I added the text and I added a few extra sound effects. Uh, Alex, Alex 303 did the animation and most of the sound effects. I added a few more in there and I added the text and the music and all that. I wish I could have done more to help f out with this. I, I want to learn Flash so bad so I can animate like this because this blows me away. And I'd love to just do nothing but this. Like, of course I do the rest of the show too. But I'd love to do the animations for my own show and actually have them look good. 
Ah, oh, yeah, it would be so fun. I mean, I've tried learning before, but my computer is super slow. I need like a PC or something. Because like if I drag a character or a sprite or something across the screen, it's like all choppy and it takes forever. And it's, I just have a kind of slow computer. It's not bad. I mean, it works. It runs decently. It runs everything decently. It just can't run like big programs like Source Filmmaker or something. Which I really need Source Filmmaker for an upcoming fight. But it looks like it won't have any animation, unfortunately. Just because of how it's going down. With my computer not being able to run Source Filmmaker and the fact that it's the fight I have planned is not that far away. And I'm rambling now. I don't know where I was going with this. I have a fight where I wanted to use Source Filmmaker, but I can't. That's the end of it. But I think that's uh, about the end of this commentary. Because I'm just rambling and go go going completely off topic now. So bye.